Hey guys, I was already wearing this today, so I thought I'd just film my video with all with the with the fancy stuff on. Why not? So I want to talk to you today about a company called The Impossible Project. And remember when I made my video about my last Polaroid 600 photo? Well, that was kind of a little bit misleading because it was not my last instant photo. When the Polaroid factory in Enschede, Netherlands shut down and stopped the production of Polaroid film, this guy named Florian Caps wanted to recreate and keep the magic of instant photography alive. He gathered this group of people from like who had worked at Polaroid and were very knowledgeable and they set out to seemingly do the impossible, which is where the name come from. So they named themselves the Impossible Project. And they likened the task of recreating Polaroid film to baking a cake, but you couldn't use the normal ingredients to bake a cake. You couldn't use flour or butter or eggs or any of those normal ingredients. You had to bake a cake that looked and tasted the same, but using completely new ingredients. And it sounds pretty impossible, right? Well, amazingly, they succeeded in their task, and a little over a year, I think it was a year and a half later, they released their first uh, film, and it was black and white. I say black and white because it was really like a sepia tone. Um, it's uh, all of these down at the bottom were their first film that they released, and they produced some amazing, beautiful photos, but not perfect. The photos were still sensitive to light right when they came out of the camera and that that's really the major problem that they've run into is that opacifier is what it's called like it has to be completely opaque right when it comes out the camera and then like slowly dissolve and let the image come through and they have succeeded in doing that pretty much and they just released um, their new film um, they call it the new color protection formula, and it's not sensitive to light right when it comes out of the camera anymore. But the thing is, the photos take over 30 minutes to develop, the, the color ones do. So they aren't quite as magical as Polaroid photos, which took 3 minutes, 4 minutes to develop completely. But they still produce some fantastic photos. The colors are brighter and more vivid than any of the Polaroid film that is still around. But the thing is, uh, since it's such a niche market, it's not the most cheap film. Um, for a pack of eight photos, it's $23, $24, not including shipping. So it adds up pretty quickly, <laughs> as you can tell. But I, I think it's worth it because those photos are one of a kind and it's, you can't beat an instant photograph. One cool thing about the photos is when they come out of the camera, you know how the Polaroids were like with like this gray color? Well, their opacifier is like cobalt blue and it's it's beautiful, but it's obviously not the same. But yeah, and I will put a link to a my square day video at the end of that. Um, you can watch one of those um, impossible photographs develop. So, I'm going to put a link to that right here, and yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.